Oh. Hello, integrals and the franchos. It's Stall. Welcome back to my kitchen. On today's menu, I'll be serving you easy to make deck that is powerful. When you play against this, you cannot play any items. Your Pokemons are going to get one shot at, and your benches could get destroyed. So, I'm going to explain to you how this deck works, and you can see it in five awesome matches. Two warm-up matches, three tournament matches. So, let's get this started. Alright, now this shiny new card, we're going to talk about just a second, but the item lock. Let's talk about the regular Trevenant. Now, aside from his awesome pose, he has a modest amount of hit points. It's only stage one, but Forest Curse. When he's your active, your opponent cannot play items. And this immensely slows any deck down. I mean, you will see it. You're just gonna see opponents just skip turns, do nothing, because it's such a big deal. Items are such a critical part of your deck. And when you're locked out of it. Mm -mm. So, come on, item locks are great, but you need some destructive power. Okay, so he does have an okay attack. Tree Slam, 60 damage. Hey, take a three shot EX Pokemon. And they won't really be able to put up Muscle Band or Fighting Spirit Band, so don't worry about that. It also does 20 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. So when they come out, well, they're already going to be softened up and you're good to go. But how reliably can you get this out on your active? Very, very reliably. And this card makes this deck even immensely dangerous. Ascension. Search your deck for a Trevenant. And then put it onto Phantom. So if you go with your second turn and you attack, this thing is already in effect. And you can see how easy it is to put up an Iron Lock on your opponent. For your opponent, that is extremely bad. But let's keep moving on. And now Trev then break. You just made a dangerous card have 160 hit points. And you gave it the ability to put 30 damage on the entire bench. And the item lock just slows them out so badly that it's going to be hard to build up enough power to get rid of this thing. So, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Okay, now the damage there overall, nice bench damage. Okay, steady damage, but let's add in Gengar. That silent fear attack makes everybody vulnerable for an instant kill. So, you need the extreme power, it's there. Don't worry about that Kyogre that's gonna show up. We'll just one shot it in a bit. And Haunter. So you have so many ways of evolutions. You got some retreat well talked about. Gothic fear. When this thing evolves, the opponent's active is confused. So they only have a 50% chance to even try to take out this big HP guy. And may they can't switch because they're item locks and stuff, so. Good luck getting ready to strand it, and you will see all that come. So, let's work on the trainer engine to set this up. Okay, so we got Bridget. This is gonna get out all my core cards so I can start evolving them, and as long as I got a Phantom and some energies or Dimension Valley, all the psychic Pokemons have one less energies that they can attack with. Boom, Iron Lock comes out. So, oh. I, sh I should mention Sh Sushi Master, but yep, all my decks get you more cards, and okay, we got Birch, we got Sycamore, just standard draw cards powers, and you know, sometimes things may not work out, we're just gonna run a teammates, and you knock my Pokemon out, my life insurance is gonna get me two of any cards I need to, put you back in the item lock, and so on and so forth. Okay, what else? Energy acceleration. Know about Dimension Valley, works for all my Pokemon, and as long as the stadium's up, it's gonna be a nightmare. And hey, Mystery Energy gives me a free retreat just in case I need it. Now, Gengar doesn't need it, but other Pokemon's, oh man, three retreat costs. So, yeah, that's why it's maybe some Floatstones, a bit mandatory. These will help out with the energy costs, and we got some Gucci energy retreats. Why? Well, this does sort of help as an off energy retreat, but it only really works on Trend. So just in case I don't get my stadium, just in case, I can use Tree Slam or retreat my Octillery, because you know you're gonna Lysander that thing out. It's gonna get Lysander out. Speaking of Lysander, 
You know, once the bench is softened up through silent fear and all that, sometimes you just want to drag Pokemon out, finish it off with a Gengar. Bingo, it's gone. So this is why Lysander is always here. And just in case something just something goes wrong, we have an escape rope to force a switch. Or just switch back our Pokemon. Okay, now uh, almost done. Items, Ultra Ball. Definitely needed to make auxiliary work. Set up our Pokemon. We have your cell phone to call back any of our supporters. We have Town Map because you're gonna be knocking out Pokemon cards left and right. So why not choose what you need? And okay, just one level ball gets out. Pretty much, well, Haunter, Ghastly, Red Maraid, Auxiliary, Phantom, all the major cards at very little cost. And we've got Evil Soda because it can't quite latch on. Level Ball can't quite get everything. I mean, this thing will get Trevenant. This thing will get Trevenant, Break, and Gengar. And so, I've talked about all the cards in my deck. So we have Super Auto Recycle items. Overall, just a recap. Get Tread and Breakout. Lock your opponents. Deal tons of damage with whatever method is necessary by softening up their bench and finishing off those big Pokemons with Gengar. So, I'm going to tell you that probably this thing is going to win the game probably for me. Yeah, but you're just going to see that in the matches to come. So, let's get started. Here we go. You know, I think this is a Dust Skull, guys. Just put the wrong mask on by accident. Hey, Dust Skull, what's up, man? Welcome to another Trend and Break match. Let's get started. Ooh, Kyogre and Shaman. Oh, man, you're gonna get item locked next turn because I'm gonna use Ascension and that's gonna be it. Oh, Switch. Yeah, yeah, you better do that. Ooh, Giant Whirlpool. We will see. It's, you know, having a very small hand really sucks. I hope I hope you have a Sycamore band. I, I, well, let's hope not, but, but let me check. You have a Switch, you have plenty of items, and next turn when I use Ascension, this Dust Skull will turn into a Trevenant. So let's go ahead, put this nice energy on. I'm gonna go ahead and check out what's in here. Better not be two Sushi Masters. Oh wow, entire set. This is guys here is why I have two Sushi Masters instead of one. Now, I can't play the escape bro and make it really ha a tough time for him. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. We're gonna use the escape bro. We're gonna make sure Shaman comes out. So oh, he's oh, oh that, that wasn't too not too good. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get Sushi Master out. Yes, I'm gonna get Sushi Master out. I do not think I'm gonna get KO'd soon, so I'm gonna throw away this. One birch, just one birch. One birch seems okay. Sushi Master, where are ya? Oh, with plenty of trendants. Okay, Sushi Master's still there. Good, good. We're gonna toss you out, and we're gonna use the Ascension attack. Come on, item block in effect. For him, of course, for him. This is nothing like Vileplume where everyone gets well, screwed over. All right. Three items. We'll, we'll see what you can do. All you can play now is supporters, energies. Given that you burnt out many items, this may be a really bad time. So I can't tell. I can't look into my opponent's hands. I can just only guess. And oh, Primo Kyogre, we need to get our other ghost out. Show. Um, I'm gonna give you the float stone. You already have that nice special energy. And come on, we're just gonna sick more. Sorry, no birch. Oh, yes. So, he's got the stadium, so he can start healing that Kyogre. All I can really do is Tree Slam at this point. No, I can't actually do Tree Slam. I'm gonna end my turn because I need to play the stadium. So, Primal Kyogre goes up. But man, four energies, you can't even knock out my Dreadnought and Break, which hopefully will come out soon. And maybe, uh, maybe I might take you out before Ghastly, uh, Haunter comes out. But we will see. We will see. Okay, this next turn I am probably going to Birch. But, given the long pauses in between these things, you know, if, you should just do what you can. And just, just get on with it. So, I'm just laughing quietly. Watch. Yes. 
four scars. Instant item lock. This thing's so cheap. All right, so yeah. You know what? I bet he's trying to figure out what he can do, but there, there's nothing of that. So, uh, I can use escape. Super rod. You know what? Let's go ahead and use super rod. Get a nice. Wow, that's a lot of energies I threw away. And a haunter back. And I am probably gonna birch. But this energy may be. I'm gonna have to discard the stadium regardless because it's gonna keep healing up. So, Birch, do you love me? I forgot to ask a question, but that was a yes. And you gave me the stadium. And this. Oh, and, and another Trevnet. So we can go on the offensive. Oh, you know, we can even discard one energy, one. I don't need any uh, more basic Pokemon. Let's get Sushi Master out. He cannot do anything. But I can do plenty of things. I got the Sushi Master. We gotta get four more cards out. And... Drats, I don't have another Trevenant Brain. I don't even have Ghastly up. But this thing... I mean, it needs four energies. We're gonna go on the offensive. Hurt everybody. And now, do you have Rup C Stadium? If you do, I'll still be able to attack. It's my turn yet again. Great! Great! Let's go ahead and charge you up. Abyssal Ham. More cards. Nope, don't even need this. We're gonna use Tree Slam. And there goes a Shaman. Um, at this point, I just... I'll take the Sycamore. Oh, I guess you're an EX Pokemon too. I'll take this and grab myself a Haunter. Hello, Primal Kyogre. Ooh, I would normally be scared of you. Normally. But he's just passing his turn. I have plenty of energies. I, um... I'm not gonna waste them. So, I'm just... Something magical may happen. This stuff, this stuff is terrible. Like, I'm not gonna even risk it. And I have too many energies to want to use Sycamore. So maybe a couple turns. I may win the game by then. So... If I have Gengar, I win at this point. That That's such a big gamble, but I may lose all of my major energy. So I'm... Oh, oh, Zorua is out. Okay, so what are we gonna do? What we're gonna attach energy on? Is this time to be bold? Yes, it is. Gonna go ahead and discard these. Waste a bit of energies. Oh, wow. All right, we got you. You have a Trevnet. Or have a Haunter. No, I'm not gonna use my special stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and use Evil Soda to get my Trevenant Breakout. That was the, like, Sycamore of Sycamores, guys. Nine cards left. Ooh, nine cards left. That is... I can't knock this out. But... We're gonna use Silent Fear. Because I... I'm still not gonna win until I take out Zorua. And if Zorua evolves into a Zora Arc, you can easily jump in, save this Primal Kyogre, and I am weak to darkness, so there's a chance of retaliation. There he goes. Oh. And a double colors energy. I knew it. I knew it. And all my Pokemon are weak to dark, so he's like, I'm gonna get rid of him. I'm gonna get rid of the man. But, now it's too late. Gengar is already right here. Gengar is up. Everybody is soft enough. The item lock is over. I can retreat and put it back on. But I'm not going to be able to KO this, and this thing is a menace. So, what are you going to do, Donald? You're just going to use Creep Show. I'm in total full control. Why don't we not get an energy? I don't need anything else. So, hello, Primo Kyogre. There's no way you can get four energies up. But the item lock, item lock is out, so we're probably going to see him do stuff now. So, he is going to replace the stadium. I'm totally good with that. And you can heal it up, but the creep show is still going to get you, and I'm so quite far ahead right now. Dive ball. It's not over till it's over. So, he's hanging on. Now he gets a chance to do whatever he wants. It is going to be an Articuno expensive water energy. You need four to charge that up. You need a lot to charge the other one up. What am I going to do? So now, there goes the items. They are 
finally free to go. Dive Ball, Trainer Mail. Can you get your expensive Pokemon up? Lysander. That is gonna Lysander, huh? Okay. So, in that case, how many other float stones have I used? Oh, wait. Why, why would... No, I, this guy had a float stone. This guy does not have a float stone. So he decides, you know what? I'm just gonna idle up myself again. Well, I respect your decision. We're gonna go... I'm gonna pull some more cards out and we're just gonna take him out the old fashioned way. Okay. Running low on cards ish. Let's go ahead and discard these two cards. We'll see if Tread and Break is one in there. So, oh my gosh, four more turns left for me, but I'm still confident I can do this. So, there you go. We're gonna use Silent Fear. Slowly, slowly get there. I. I can finish off in two attacks and maybe something else really quickly. We'll see. So, he has chosen. He's chosen to item lock himself <laughs> over, over, over a free retreat. This thing already has a float zone. Um, okay. Worst case scenario, I'm going to have Birch. Hopefully that will work. Or I can just quickly retreat next turn and send out my Gengar and try to finish the game. Oh, so going for Articuno, that, that may be really bad. Okay, three more turns left. You gotta make a choice, Donald. I choose to... Uh, I choose to retreat. I choose to retreat, guys. I'm, I'm, I have no time. Time is not on my side, so let's go ahead and just discard energy card. We're gonna use the Creep Shell, finish this Primal Kyogre off. Man, I'm gonna grab two more cards by other Sushi Master set. Three turns left. Totally felt like the right choice. Okay, so please do not like Xander me again. I, I hope so. Many of my energies are gone. Okay, Hex Maniac. Oh, that shuts off the item lock. Chilling sign, go to sleep, but will you stay? Nope, good game, yes! Yes, okay. Finish it. I was getting a little tight there with my deck, but shut down. Totally shut down. Woo! All right. Anything else you want to say, Donald? I am deck really shut down heavy tech deck, and with so many energies to require to tech up his Pokemon and stuff. Man, item blocks are such a pain, and this thing does it so well. Okay, so. Where do you get wood to make haunted houses? Regular trees, of course. What are you looking at Trevenant for? Welcome to another Trevenant break match. Let's get started. Oh, I'm done with my turn. Okay, so if I chose to go second, I could technically item lock him this turn, but nah. Nah. <laughs> I'm going to have Trevenant already, and I'm probably going to follow the back one because I can already use my attack to, well, do this. Maybe. If I evolve in this turn, I can actually use Tree Slam if I get the stadium. Now, he's gonna have enough damage to take out my first Trevenant, but I already have another one, so we will see. 20 damage. Oh, you're going for the artillery. Okay. Smart, smart. You know what? I think I'm gonna do some damage. I am gonna survive another attack from him, so this means if I get... I'm gonna discard these two cards, but I'm gonna keep going on. This means if I get to Dimension Valley, I get to attack him. If not, that's okay. So, we're gonna get the Sushi Master. We're gonna hope this works. So, three more cards and a Birch. Just give you one Dimension Valley and you're in for a great time. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, Birch, Sycamore. I'm gonna have to go with Sycamore, guys. Sorry, sorry, Haunter. Well, we'll get you back, and another Trevenant. Woo! Should I use this evil soda for Trevenant, uh, for another Trevenant? Mm. I'll hold off of that. I'll hold off that. We're just gonna use Tree Slam, and everybody takes a little bit of damage. You take 60, gonna take a little bit more work to knock you out, then you take 20. 
Shinx? Oh, we may see sh What did you become? There's a new card, a new break card that involves some shrink. Lux Ray Break. But, I think it's gonna go with Manedric. Now, it only does 60 damage because I don't have the item. I had no items in this deck. At least the ones that I would have used for Trim. I would probably would not put Float Stone. But, okay, we see another Metronic trip comes down. Can he charge this up? It would be slightly annoying, but hey, man. It has to be a Mega Manetric. You get a Spirit Link. Not. Yes! So, okay. 30 more hit points. Nope. Wait until I evolve you. So, hello, Mr. Trevenant Break is out. And item lock is in. He cannot put a spirit like whatsoever. Um, but at this point, okay, this is my only supporter, so let me just go ahead and play it. I need Gastly's. I need the Gastly line to come up. I don't need another artillery line. And I can pretty much use any attack I like. Do I want to get rid of this Manetric? I think I will, but let me go ahead and charge up this Gastly. I, I feel like I should get that Haunter back. Or all, both these cards back. Why not? And nope, let's let's just save it for another turn. I want to get my Haunter line. I already got a Trevenant Break line up, so I'm already good for that. Wow, too many Phantoms. Well, do I want to go for the back line? No, we're gonna use Trees Land, man. Let's keep pick on the low little guys. There you go. Pick on the little weak people. When one more shot, you're gonna go down. And if you can only do 60 damage, I will still survive. And not only that, I'm going to have another Trevenant, I'm going to have another Haunter. It's all good in the hood. But the thing about item lock is, you don't know what items you ha your opponent has. You don't know what they're not playing. So right now, I know he can't play a Spirit Link. He cannot play a Rare Candy. He's going to have to take the long way around, so all he can do is just an attack. And luckily, I will be able to defeat him before he takes me down. Okay, in this case, I'm going to use my level ball to, well, grab all Haunter. There you go, Haunter. Let's not confuse, because I'm already going to KO him. So, we'll go ahead and evolve you. Let's... No, no Haunter. I know how good your confusion is. I. It's something, something's up with that. So, let's go ahead, get another Trevenant Breakout. So, if he does manage to KO me, if you do, I'll get another one out. Okay, so it's not gonna be over until well, let me attach an item. Let's see what other cards I can get with Sushi Master, and then we'll see if we discard those. Escape rope. Oh, you love me. You would want me to play that, but hmm, this looks like a really nice hand. I'm gonna keep it the way it is. We are gonna use Tree Slam. Hey, EX Pokemon, I still got it. You know, we're gonna take out Shinx and almost get out Magnemite too. So that's one prize. I'm gonna get three prize cards this turn, man. Oh, another Adventure Valley, awesome! Third prize card in a single attack. Uh, this Magnemite's gonna go down next turn, and Manetric can, it can KO me. Yeah, it can, but hey, I'm ready to go. The Iron Walk is not gonna go away, man. He's gonna send his Magnemite out, just as if it was gonna survive. But yeah, it does save him for Tree Slam. I mean, would you like to put more cards down on the bench? Please go ahead. Gengar could take out anybody, even you. And I think, oh, oh, now you can knock me out. But by the time that comes out, Gengar will come and finish you off. I can already see it, and then you know, you know what, what's going to happen in a couple turns. So let's go ahead. Ah, oh, Trevenant, you did a great job, man. But I think. I think you have to take one for the team, man. So, we're gonna go ahead and we're, instead of using Tree Slam, we're gonna use Silent Fear. Everyone, take out your Magnemite. You took out four prize cards. You did a great job, man. Great job. And Manetric here has, unfortunately, enough damage to knock him out. It's a shame. It is a shame, but Gengar will get you revenge, man. Just, you, you will have the satisfaction of taking out the guy guy who took out all his Pokemon. Alright, Lightning Energies. I guess he, he can't play items, so he has to play a Fisherman. And you would not normally play as Fisherman, but I guess that's the only thing he has in his hand. So, I'm gonna take a little bit of danger, bench damage. Yeah. Overrun. 
Who are you gonna choose? You're gonna choose another Dreadnought break. Okay, Gengar's like, well, this is it. Good game. Good game. So, Creep Shell, we're gonna finish it with a one shot KO on this. Technically, uh -huh. insta kill. It's an insta kill attack. So, yeah, I unlock. You the man. You the man. Oh man, I hate to go against this deck. Is there anything else you'd like to say? No. I could definitely tell the item lock was getting to me. Okay, I think that's it. Let's move on. So, if Trevor turns gold, does he get scarier or is it just worth more in money? Anyways, welcome to the first round of the tournament of this uh, Trev Day thing, Robber. Okay, so I have two Sushi Masters out. I'm not gonna put my Dimension Valley. I see what I have to do. We're gonna put this energy. No, a special energy onto this Trevenant, and I'm gonna end my turn. And, unfortunately, I do not have access to a Sushi Master or Burge Sycamore. So in this case, at least I'll have Trevenant next turn. Item lock, and ready to go into combat, sort of. I still have to retreat this Rim right, but he is going to get brazen out. Oh man, we'll see. This is the, this is the only turn he gets until I'm gonna item lock him. And Ultra Ball, I hope it's not too late. Oh no, discarded energies. If he has a blacksmith in his hand, for sure Del Fox can come out if blacksmith is in there. My Trevenant may not be in a good shape. So, let's go again and make this happen, guys. We're gonna put a regular energy on. We're gonna put Trevenant up. I'm not gonna use my confusion yet. We're actually just gonna use, uh, ooh, I can save this energy by attacking. I think I'm gonna do that. So, I'm gonna attack with Ion Pool. I can't really do anything else. I screwed that up. I thought I had my retreat one, but I did not. So, he is gonna get a free evolution up. Get Shrine of Memories and Blacksmith. Ooh, so he gets those in. And maybe, maybe Rim Raid is being up there is actually a good idea. It's just. Ooh, do, do you have another energy card? Mystical fire. Okay, there was even the item lock could not have blocked that. So, oh my gosh, enough energies to go attack. Well, I'm very glad I made that mistake. So, in that case, my Tremden, if I had done it the other way around, I would have gotten one shot. It. I would have gotten one shot it. And, yeah. So, Blaze Ball, 110 damage, that's exactly how many hit points I have. Okay, so, let's go ahead and send out Trev then. A first Seeker. I can actually have something else? I have a, oh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and, he may need that, so, let's go ahead and toss that in. Let me go ahead and evolve Haunter, and I'm gonna say yes, because that, that may save my life. That would be totally saved my life. And, why am I going to use Bridget? Um, well, to get more stuff down and to not draw the cards I don't need because I'm stuck. So, let's wrap up everything, pretty much everything. And, do I want to attack? Yes. Let's go ahead and do this. I put my faith on this Haunter. This Haunter is really good confusion. Tails does not work. That's okay. I would not survive an attack from Blaze Ball, but he cannot play any items. And the chances, the odds are in his favor. He has so many hit points that he can take the wrong confusion. Oh, you discarded for a retreat? Confusion, man. Confusion. So Birch, but the item lock is in effect, so... But Birch loves him, and he don't love me. Uh-oh. My bench is completely full. I'm gonna die next turn, so Blazing Roar. Four. How many energies is that? I don't know. Plenty of energies. So Del Fox is ready to come out. But luckily, very luckily, I have Sycamore. I've been waiting for you, Sycamore. Now I just need another Haunter. But ooh, I have a Trevenant. Break. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take the evolution. Once Haunter comes out, he's, it's all gonna be good. I'm sorry, Gengar comes out, it's all gonna be good. So, 
Let's use Silent Fear. And hurt everyone, make sure everyone can get KO'd by my Gengar. I may have more multiple Gengars coming up. Hopefully. Hopefully. And, okay. So, combat plays. I, my bench is completely full. I'm very sure he has the fire energy. But, oh! He did not. But maybe with a Shauna, he will have a fire energy. There's that fire energy. And, okay. Combat blaze. Full bench. It's, it's, it's not gonna happen. So, this Haunter, Xanthus is gonna do it. Oh, I survived! I did my math wrong. But I survived! Okay! Let's do this. I'm gonna attach an energy on. Now... This is so many energies to loot. I'm not gonna do it, guys. I'm just gonna use choose to... Put him through. Come on. We are gonna use... We're gonna use Tree Slam. We're gonna use Tree Slam. Keep the item lock on. Let him take another attack. I'm I'm gonna let you stay up there, man. And then next turn, I'm able to use up one of my energies. And then we'll we'll attack. So wow, another energy on Del Fox. You are insane, man. Alright, oh, that, that's way enough. They cannot survive another attack. So I think I'm gonna go for Trevenant. You can put all the energies you want, but I'm gonna come out and finish you off. We're gonna keep the item lock up. It, but the trade-off, I think this is good. So, you get a prize card. Just one prize card. I know that was an EX quality Pokemon, but... Yeah. Yeah. So, you get a prize card, man. Please, go ahead, choose. And I, I already know who's coming up. And this is why I did not stick more, because I need my... Here. I hope he didn't disconnect. So, we're gonna wait. Maybe, uh, I'm gonna cut into the next part until he makes his move. And that, uh, yeah. That's what exactly what we Finally, he took his prize card. I am gonna send Trevor now. So now, here we go. You can attack. We're gonna confuse you. Yes, everybody, be confused. And now I'm, I feel good about just going one energy is okay. But all those, Trevor did break. Alright, Mr. Break, you're here. I can even use Silent Fear. I can use Lysander. I have Gengar. I'm gonna use my town map, guys. And I'm gonna save my other resources. No, oh, why am I saving my other resources? There's one major resource that I need to get up. Artillery! There you are, Sushi Master, you're up. And who has a problematic retreat? I think you do. Let's go ahead and draw some more cards out. 20 cards out. Woo! Okay, we're good. We're good now. Let's use Silent Fear. Take out this Entei. Take out this Delphox. And what do I need? Uh... I can only choose... An escape room. I think this is the thing that I'm lacking right now. So, hello Delphox. I think this trap that maybe was just to take you out. Can you one-shot this Stealth Fox? But keeping... I can go and knock it out with Gengar, actually... If you have no more Pokémon on your bench, that's it. But you cannot play any items whatsoever. That may be preventing him from doing... Well, he has six cards. Victory! He do it. There's nothing else he could do. Woo! Oh, I was glad that worked out. All right, so is there anything else you'd like to say? No, that's it. I, I think that's it. Item lock, man. It did something. I, ghosts totally. are scary. That's why you have Haunter. Dolls are scary. That's why you have Finette. Trees are... S uh, no, trees aren't scary. I'm sorry, Trevin. Trees aren't scary. So, welcome to another... Uh-oh. Trev the break match. And this here is Beautifly. He has Silcoon up. He has Beautifly up all on the second turn and a double cause energy. Ooh, that's that's what I think it is. I'm in trouble. But 
This is why I have Auxiliary up. I already had put a double cause energy on him last turn. And this is a... Uh, this is a bit dangerous. I can Birch, but if I don't Birch the right thing, I, I, I'm very, very, very bad trouble. So, let's go ahead and take out Wurmple. I'm playing it safe, guys. I'm going to end my turn. He has only has two cards left. It can't be a supporter. I don't know, but it was the Silcoon. Whew. Whew. Okay, so now we have Phantom. I can retreat. No. I know I have teammates, but I'm going to Birch. Birch, do you love me? I know you don't. And, you know, that free evolution is getting a bit tough. So I'm going to go ahead and throw you back. Let's go ahead and use Abyssal Hand. Grab me some more cards, I still feel safe. Okay, so, if I retreat, I can actually attack with Phantom. So, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna item lock you. We're gonna use the Ascension attack. Trevnet, you're good to go. Item lock is in, you cannot play any items. You can force me to switch into my artillery, which I really hope I can get something like a float stone. So then, this would be a problem, all right? You're stuck. Good, good. And now Trevnit break us up! And let's shrink my hand, grab out some cards. What am I holding in my hand? I do have that. I need that. And maybe another Sushi Master. Sure. Sure, two Sushi Masters. I feel it's a little bit too much, but I may get an Octillery. I just may want to throw it down, so... Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I totally did. What am I going to do? I can take the Suku now. Or I can just destroy everybody slowly. You know what? We're gonna put this onto Ghastly. And I'm just gonna use Silent Fear. Take it slow, guys. 30 damage, everyone. You cannot play items. And I think I have them in the palm of my hands at this point. So. Oh no, this is the wonder wonder confusion. We are we're not gonna confuse. We already evolved out. Oh, you discarded my stadium, so it made the deep that to attack. But, oh wow, Birch. I'm sorry, not Birch, Sycamore, much better. No, no bone, no confusion, especially not from you. I'm afraid of you. So at this point, do I, I got two Sushi Masters, all engines, full speed ahead. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, put this on. You know what, I'm just gonna grab another card. Everything is just in the palm of my hands. I can go ahead and knock you out. But I want to, I want some little bit more time. We're just gonna use Silent Fear. I actually can't knock you out. I need to put an energy on. Slowly burn away. I know I have a Lysander. 70 damage. Not quite enough. But he cannot play any items. He needs a grass energy. That's what he needs. We need to put this grass energy on this beautify, which is great against EX Pokemons. How many are there? Nine. Zilch. Okay, so we have that. I don't know. My hand is just really good right now. I'm gonna go ahead and Ultra Ball and make sure I can get grab a Gengar out. So, you know, no no worries. There you Gengar. Hey, what's up, buddy? I, I'm vulnerable to a Lysander. If you were to do that, I need a double cost energy or I need a float so let's see if we can get either. We get the Dimension Valley. So at this point. You know what? I, I still have 25 cards left in my deck. Let's go ahead and draw some more. Let's go ahead and put an energy on you. I'm just so totally set up. We're gonna use Silent Fear. And just keep on hurting the back and here we go. Uh, one prize card. Do you have any other Pokemon? The item lock is still in effect and you can shut it out with your Whirlwind. You can force me to switch. You may have your opponent switch. I choose who comes up. And that's it. That's it. Well, is there anything else you'd like to say, Donald, before you fight the last round of the tournament? You know, we can't see what items they're playing, but you just can tell, man. You, you just can't tell by the lack of actions. Okay, so let's move on to the final round. All ghost Pokemon have some sort of theme. Trees, dolls. What's the dark ride? We'll get to them when we get there. Welcome to the final round of the tournament. Let's get started. Night March. Okay, 
I see what I have to do. Let's go ahead and play Ultra Ball. I'm gonna I'm forced to discard these two cards. Yes. I have to lose one of my Gengars, but this is not the time for you, man. This is the time for our Phantom. So there we go. Gonna go ahead and toss you in. Now you have an energy to attack, and you don't really need an energy. Technically, yeah, you will do eventually. And let's go ahead and we're gonna ready. Yeah, let's go ahead and retreat. I'm gonna go ahead and play Sycamore and let's see what I get. Sushi Master. Yeah, we definitely need you. I'm gonna toss away Birch, one of my regular energy cards, because I have I have another energy, so we have 12 energy souls. We need the Sushi Master. There we go. Sushi Master, you're up. And I think this is everything I can do. We're gonna attack with the Ascension. Item lock you. And given by battle compressors, you're not oh man, one, two, three, four. And uh yeah, you can't play any items now, buddy. But you're really strong, and luckily this thing has a two retreat. Oh, I, I may want to take this out before it falls. Okay, so Sushi Master, you're ready up. I guess you can have an energy. And Sushi Master, please. We need Trevenant Break. We need the Break guy to come out. Okay, I, I don't really do not want to one-shot him. So, we're going to go ahead and play Sycamore. And see what I get. Right, another Trevenant. I get I can pull a Haunter at this point. So let's go ahead and pull Haunter out. I'm I'm still afraid that Combi may be really deadly. So would you like both Pokemon to be confused? It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna hit yes. I'm not actually ready to go and attack, guys. I'm gonna end my turn. And if I attacked, that I will release this Vesta Queen out. So, while I'm in control, I'm going to play and do as many things as I can. So, we're going to keep on charging these guys up. You can have this energy. And before I birch away my cards, let's go away in Octillery. Please, I need my break card. Ooh, okay. How many energies I got? Okay. I think this is the right time to go ahead and grab back my Gengar as well as my energy. And now, break. Break evolution. Show me your money, man. Tails, that's sort of it. But man, that's a lot of energies to discard too. That's fine. We'll get the, we'll get the stuff back, and we don't need that many energies with the Dimension Valley. And so, this is the way I want to do it. Break, Mr. Break is up. Silent Fear. Bye, bye, Jeltic. Next turn, Pumpkaboo is gonna come out. But if possible, if possible, I want a Lysander and just finish him off with a Tree Slam. I am lock on a night march. They need battle compressors. So many items. That is double cause energy with the confusions in effect. Does not matter. That, that I have 160 hit points. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's still not gonna. Come on. No supporters. That's it. Well. Well, when you don't can't play items, that you can have to reply on supporters. So, God, this is such a cheap deck. All right. Well, this whole entire video has been about my opponent's lack of do doing stuff, while I just slowly dismantle their stuff. And hey, man, I have one shot potential. I have bench damaged item lock against one of the most hated decks that been around, I think this may be the new hated deck. I wouldn't want to beat it with any of my decks. So, yeah, don't, don't, don't start making this deck, guys. Make life gonna be harder for me. Okay, so, anything else before you move on to the end of the video? Yeah, we gotta rate this stuff, so, come on. Congratulations, you've made it to the end. So, it's time we rate this deck. I'm gonna give it a very high score. A plus. Why? So, how would you feel if you play against this deck? Where you couldn't play any items, you had to get rid of 160 hit point Pokemon that, well, would destroy your bench. Sushi Master's gone three turns, and if Gengar's out, then all your Pokemons are gone one shot. Oh, that Haunter confusion, that Haunter. Yeah. 
I don't want to meet this with any of my decks. So, there's a weakness. Well, actually, the weakness is very simple. All your Pokemon are weak against Dark. All of them. So if there was a fast Dark deck, Evil Tall, Sora Arc that could set up, well, Trevenant's gone. So, what if you want to do if you want a foolproof against that? Might add in some Skyros weakness policies, and then you're just gonna be a bad day for everybody. So, okay. Next up, we're gonna go and try something uh, difficult. Ho oh! Three different energies. No, four different energies, pretty much, if you count the ability. How do you do this? There are many ways to do it. I'm gonna try the butterfly way. We'll see how that goes. So that is coming up next. And, well, please like, subscribe, because you're going to get more videos like this to come, including this. If you like any of my music, most of them are done Spotify. The new ones will come out probably next month. Okay, so that is it for now. Integrals and Differentials. I'll see you back in my kitchen for the legendary bird, Ho-Oh. All right, bye-bye.